You want me to show you something that will just make you absolutely sick? I'm on this website called schooldigger.com. And what it is, is it's a comprehensive site that takes free and public data, data that is released by school districts all over the nation, and it compiles it into lists and categories and rankings so that you can get on there and you can see how your school district compares to other school districts in your state. And I'm on the Walker County page right now of School Digger, and you can see that right now we are ranked 116th out of 193 Georgia districts. And I've hovered my mouse cursor over the question mark here on this graph so that you can see the explanation. It says simply that this graph shows how Walker County is performing compared to the other districts in Georgia. 100% is the best, 0% is the worst. And what's so important about this comparative data is that it gives you a good picture of how you stack up from year to year against other schools. You see, if you look at your data in a vacuum and you just see how you're doing every year, that can be misleading. For instance, when you have something like COVID that happens that can decrease your test scores, you can say, well, our test scores were down, but how did the other schools do? If we dropped 10 points because of COVID, well, COVID's not just a Walker County thing. It's a statewide problem. So if we drop 10 points, then we should see the other schools also dropping 10 points. You know, when things were shaken up by a pandemic or otherwise, how did we fare? So if you look on, the, on here, this data goes all the way back to 2013. You can see that in 2013, our school district perform better than 68.2% of other districts in Georgia. That means if you randomly grabbed 100 schools in Georgia, Walker County could beat 68 of those schools. That's pretty great. That's awesome. That is really good for our little rural country schools up here in Northwest Georgia. Those are not bad numbers. But I want you to see what happens as the years pass. Every single year, the scores drop. There's not even a year, I mean, forget about getting better. There's not even a year where we hold steady. There is a pretty consistent drop every single year until you get to 2021. We are ranked right now 39.9%. That is a huge decrease. What is our problem? Have our kids somehow over the last eight years become dumb? Have our teachers forgotten how to teach? Or has leadership lost its way? I can tell you what would happen in the private sector if management in a major corporation put up numbers like this over an eight year period. I think we all know what would happen to the football coaches if the football team's record did this over an eight year period. But you know, maybe you're saying, Ben, no, 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 listen, this is Walker County, you just don't understand. We just can't do it. We're not good enough. Maybe our kids are just dumb. Well, hey, watch it, you're talking about my kids, but also, uh, maybe, let's look. Let's just go to the rankings for each school. And right here, uh, they're listed, one, two, three, four. You can just go through the list and you can see each and every one. Look at Jefferson City with its five-star ranking right here. Uh, good for you, Jefferson City. That's amazing. But what about these uh, dumb Walker County kids? Well, look at number 10 right here. This is the one you need to pay attention to, Chickamauga City. Hey, that's Gordon Lee. Those are Walker County kids. Congratulations, Gordon Lee. That is amazing. 10th in the entire state. These are Walker County kids. They're just going to a different school district. They're at a city school instead of the big school district. They're 10th they're in the whole state. Now, if I want to see where Walker County is on this list. I mean, we're on page one. They're not going to be there, okay? They're not even going to be on page two. I mean, look who is on page two, Trine City. Great job, Trine City. 18. But we're not even on page three or four or five. I mean, I'll tell you who is on page five, Dade County. I hope nobody here is looking down their nose at Dade County. Good job, guys. Four-star school ranking. They have climbed three spots. They've passed three schools in the last two years. Good job, Dade County. Keep it up. Now, I can't find Walker on page five or six, seven. No, I, you have to actually go all the way to page 12. 
And if you go to page 12, you can find us. We're right here in the middle, 116th. And what I want you to look at is this number right here. Okay, yeah, sure, we're a two-star school district. But look right here. What this is, this is the change from 19. So what that means is in the past two years, we have a negative change. We have a change of negative 21. That means that in the past two years alone, 21 schools have passed us. So the question that the parents deserve an answer to is what are we going to do about it? What is leadership going to do about it? But more importantly, I want to know from you, what are the parents going to do about this? Do you think that your kids are 39th percentile kids? And if not, then what are you going to do about it?